Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your prop stream account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you pull tax delinquency lists on prop stream? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to pull tax delinquent lists on prop stream anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're working in real estate, maybe you're doing some wholesaling, you know that the more motivation a seller has, including tax delinquencies, the better chances of you finding a deal, whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your prop stream account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave all the written instructions there as well, but I've already opened up my prop stream account and this is the home screen. Now, in order to search for tax delinquencies, there's actually a couple of different ways you can do it. So today I'm going to show you two different ways that I search for tax delinquent lists. So the first thing you want to do here is go ahead and choose a zip code, a city, or even a county. So depending on where you're working, a county might be too large. Your list is going to end up really huge, especially if you're working in a large county like Los Angeles County. Usually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and type in a city. So let me go ahead and type in a city here. Okay. So I'm going to pull up Long Beach, California, just for the purpose of this video. You can see there's about 106,000 properties listed there on PropStream. Now to do tax delinquent lists, what you do is click on the filter button, this turquoise button. And then the nice thing about PropStream is they have a quick list. So you can click right here and then just scroll down until you see tax delinquency. Okay. Now it's going to filter out tax delinquency. So you can see there are 6,227 properties that the county has notified that these properties are behind on one or more years of their property taxes. So you can see this list is pretty huge depending on what your marketing effort is. So what I would normally do is I'm going to go ahead and filter this down a little bit more. So just click on filter. Okay. So we do have right here tax delinquencies. I'll go ahead and leave that. But the first thing that I do when I am looking for a tax delinquent list on prop stream is I click right here on MLS status here. I do not want to buy off market. I'm sorry, on market properties. So I'm always going to click here. No. And that's going to remove anything that's already listed with a real estate agent. And that did drop off some properties. So as you can see with tax delinquency, there is quite a bit of motivation. So right there at 6,138. And then if we remove the MLS 6227, so 100 of those properties have already been listed because of motivating factors and maybe the behind taxes is one of those reasons. So let me go ahead and turn that back on. Also, what I'm going to do is for me, I click on property characteristics and I don't really like to work with commercial properties. So what I'll do is I'll open this up and I click on single family condo and multi-units, two to four units. So that drops it down to 4,700. And another thing that I would search for is ownership info right here. So in my experience, usually if the family has owned it more than 30 years, the chances of them selling are pretty low. So I usually put 30 years, maximum years ownership. Also, if they recently purchased the property in the past few years, probably not going to sell. So I usually put this at three years and let's see where we're at now. 2,871 properties. So yeah, we are starting to narrow down this tax delinquency list. Let me click on filter once again, and then also I'll open up ownership info. So me personally, I like to work with individual investors. I don't really like to work with large investors. So for me, I'll usually click right here, owner type, and then I'll remove corporations. So I'll check on individual and then also number of properties owned. So in my experience, if you are working with somebody who has, I don't know, 15, 20 different properties, they're pretty seasoned investors. So it's not likely you're going to be able to come across a deal. So for me, I like to work with folks who own less than three properties. So I put that there and let me close this down. So we have that down to 1,700. And then another thing that I would do is if the folks are delinquent on their property taxes and they're coming up on your list, it is possible that they don't have any equity in their property. So depending on what your strategy is, if you're going to be buying it subject to, or you're going to be paying cash or something like that, you may need to have a certain amount of equity in the property. So I'll open up right here, valuation and equity, and then I'll scroll down until I see this estimated equity percentage. For me, I'm looking for a minimum of 30% equity, and that gives us a little bit of room. So let's see where we're at now. 1650. So this list is a pretty good size list. Now on the valuation and equity part right here, I put in 30%, but that's really going to depend on your market. If you're in a market that houses are selling for, I don't know, $50,000, maybe 30% equity is not going to be enough. Maybe you need to go ahead and delete this and then click on here, a minimum of let's say $30,000 of equity in the property. So that really depends on where you're going to be working at. For me, the percentage in California, we can just put that at 30%. Okay. So for me, this is a good size list. And those are the filters that I would put on if I were doing a 
tax delinquency list on PropStream. Now you can filter that even more if you happen to end up with a larger list that's gonna be too much for you. You can go ahead and check right here, owner occupied. So I would click no. So these might be out of area investors. So you can see there's 246 property. These are people who own the property and they're behind on taxes, but they don't actually live there. So they're dealing with like renter issues and things like that maybe. So that might be a good list. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to find a tax delinquency list in your prop stream, that's how I normally do it. If you have a better filter, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know. Let me go ahead and open up this filter. You can maybe screenshot these and then that way you know what I normally look for when I am pulling tax delinquent lists. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.